If you're on the hunt for a budget-friendly 65% keyboard that doesn't compromise on style or performance, you've clicked on the right video. Stick around as we deep dive into Yunzi's Aluminium AL66. Before we go any further, I want to say thanks to the folks over at Yunzi for sending this unit out for a review, as well as ensuring to you that this won't affect the integrity of the review. Getting into the unboxing, mine came kind of beat up, but through no fault of Yunzi's. Opening it up, the first thing you'll get is the user manual, which is actually a card, which is kind of nice. You get some basic spare keycaps for macOS, as well as a USB-C to USB-A cable. You you also get a few spare switches as well as a standard keycap and switch puller. The main attraction comes wrapped in a plastic cover with a dust cover inside. The AL66 is available on Yunzi's website for $99.99. The board has a compact 65% layout with 66 keys and a multifunction knob. The case is a CNC aluminium material weighing just over 1.1 kilograms. It comes equipped with tri-mode connectivity meaning you can connect via Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz dongle or wired. The AL66 has a 4600 milliamp hour battery. The board features a gasket mounting system. The PC the is 5 pin hot swappable with south facing sockets. Okay, so I've gone for the silver theme AL66 and with its compact 65% layout this keyboard definitely looks the part. Getting it in hand, it's noticeably heavy due to its aluminium construction. The build quality just feels perfect. One thing to note is that you're stuck with the one type and angle as you get 4 rubber pads on the bottom and no adjustable feet. The keycaps are Daiso PBT in the cherry profile. They have a good thickness and feel great to type on. The caps paired with the aluminium finish gives sort of an industrial look and vibe. Underneath. The AL66 is rocking Yunzi's own milk linear switches. They're a pre-lube 3-pin linear requiring an operating force of around 45 grams with a pre-travel of roughly 2mm and a total travel distance of 4mm. This makes them a very light linear switch with a soft rebound. Yunzi marked this switch as more of a quiet option but I can assure you that in this build it's anything but. But I'll have a full sound test later in the video. The AL66 has all the bells and whistles when it comes to lighting. You get all the RGB backlighting you could ever want as well as side RGB strips. This board is compatible with Yunzi's software which means you get a variety of lighting presets to choose from as well. You can connect the AL66 to your device via Bluetooth 5.0, the 2.4 GHz dongle or wired via the USB-C cable. You also get your operating system toggle. It's possible to connect to up to four devices at a time so if you've got Windows PC and a MacBook like I do, Yunzi have you covered. Even the knob is metal on this board. It serves a few functions. You get your usual volume control as well as the ability to toggle the brightness of the backlighting. Okay, let's tear down this board and see what's inside. The first thing you need to do is unscrew these eight screws at the back. So yeah. I was only able to get two of these screws out and from what I can see in the community this seems to be a big problem with this keyboard, so if you plan to mod it, just bear that in mind. I will take out the keycaps and switches and show you as much as I can from the outside. The AL66 comes with a polycarbonate plate with several flex cuts, aimed at providing a uniform soft typing experience. As far as sound dampening, I can't really show you so you'll just have to trust me. It comes with pour on sandwich foam, pour on socket foam and PET sound pads. So yeah, internally the AL66 comes with plenty of sound dampening and a slotted polycarbonate plate for a silky smooth typing feel. I'm now going to put the board back together before revealing the sound test followed by some closing remarks. To wrap it up, I think this keyboard would be a great choice for someone looking to upgrade from something like a cheaper GMK67, which has an identical layout but is made from plastic. The stock typing experience is definitely to a satisfactory level, so if you're not a fan of modding your keyboards, you don't have to with this one. There it is, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing as well as leaving a like and comment to let me know what you thought.